Okay. Now we can move on to the actual LCD connector. So again, this will be plugged into the motherboard. There is a little uh, kind of cover on this. So uh, when it's on the motherboard, you pop that off. You will remove the, uh, the pins that insert in here uh, from the motherboard. And now that this cable is free, we now have to get the individual wires free. So um, I take my flathead screwdriver and you'll see that there's kind of a tab on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to wedge right in between there with my screwdriver and lift up again take your time with all these parts because this is um, probably the most important part because you really need to spare these pins if you can spare the pins it just makes the entire process easier so now that I have that up I can lift up the top I push my screwdriver in there, lift that up, and under this is just going to be the black connector, so we just have to kind of work our way down towards it. Okay, so now the top's up, so now we're going to split it from the front. Again, we do the same thing. To wedge my connector and my uh, screwdriver into the connector here. Kind of lift up the plate. It's that's pretty easy to do. And you can almost peel it back like so. And then here's what we want there. The rest of it uh, doesn't matter. Um, so please, you can be as brutal with that as you want. But here's what we want to spare these pins in here okay so now to free the pins and we have to free all of them okay doesn't matter where you begin but we need our, our trusty safety pin again and I'm gonna start going left to right and I'm peeling back these black tabs and I'm actually gonna probably peel them back so that they just fall off um, sometimes it can be hard to tell which ones are there, so you can see how once you peel it back, it looks like the whole thing's kind of just exposed. Just keep pulling it back, and just keep going down and down and down. Again, you see now you can see the entire pen. You don't have to have them fall off, but um, you know there's a it makes it easier to see which ones might be holding it up because sometimes you can accidentally, you know, push it back into place without realizing. And I'm going to take off all of these. Start kind of freeing it by putting the pin in into the middle where you just remove the tab and then press you'll start to see it slide down once you see it slide down grab it do not use a pair of pliers or anything you can accidentally apply way too much force it's very easy to pull these pins off One thing, as I kind of started loosening these all up, and as long as they're kind of all starting to kind of be all starting to head downwards, one thing that helps is actually separating the wires. Again, there's a black wire and there's a gray wire. So you have this, uh, the label on it. What you do is, uh, you know, take your X-Acto knife, you can take your flathead screwdriver, you can take a pair of scissors. off it'll make it uh you can just complete your work and now they should be all released from on top so I'm just gonna apply very gentle pulling to the actual pins and just start taking them all out like so again particularly 
the red and the green ones, um, those are by far the most sensitive. So, and you hit any resistance at all, you go back in uh, with your safety pin. And you see if you can free it up. And sometimes right after you get that little pull, that's all. That's all you need. Once you get it past that little hang-up area, it usually can be pushed down without a problem after that. And we're done. So, connector's free. You can hold on to it for posterity, but most importantly, we now have free pins. And pull them apart gently. And you can see all our pins are intact on the gray cable. And all our pins are intact on the black cable. So for identification purposes, you want to make sure that you can see clearly the color here. You want to make sure that this is the brown, blue, a green, and and this one appears to be a gray color as opposed to red, which is a little variation um, that I have seen in some of these. So just be aware there is um, occasional variation where you'll see a color that might be a little different. Okay, so there you go.